Hey, what's up guys? This is TLR's Matt Castellano. Today I'm going to walk you through uh, how to build the rear CVDs in our car. Uh, today I have the 22 SCT ones, although it's uh, the same for uh, the same sequence for all of our cars. Alright, I'm going to start by cleaning the set screw in the barrel with motor spray. Just spray the, the set screw and use a clean rag to kind of dry it off. And then do the same with the barrel, just spray into the threads. Make sure it's clean. Alright, now that my set screws and barrels are clean, um, this is the most important part, is when using the Loctite, you don't want to use too much. Uh, using too much, you can lock up the bone and it won't move freely. You just want to put a little bit, just enough to cover the threads. And I like to start threading it in, thread it in about halfway. And then I take the grease and just put a little bit around the barrel. All right now the set screws halfway threaded in and the barrel is greased. Uh, I'm going to start by putting it through the this side of the dog bone. And then I usually just hold it there, line your axle up. And then put the pin through. And once you've done that, hold the pin on both sides so that it's evenly spaced and tighten the set screw. When tightening this down, you want to be careful not to go too tight. You might break a wrench because it, from it being a smaller size wrench, but you still want the set screw very tight so that you don't lose this center pin. Once you've done that, just double check to make sure that it moves freely inside. That it should not tighten up anywhere and it should be nice and free. Alright, so that's uh, pretty much how you put a CVA together. The most important thing again is uh, not overusing too much Loctite, making sure that this is all free. Uh, if it's not, it can hurt the performance and handling of your vehicle. So uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.